Hello friends, very good morning to all of you. So today we are going to discuss uh, PF08 that is uh, how to request for ping federal developer license uh, using your Gmail account. So we'll just request, I'll just show you that how you can request a developer license. And then on uh, PF10, when we just do the installation and configuration of ping federal, then we can see how we are going to use that uh, developer license file. Yeah, so let's begin. So to get a developer license of Ping Federate, uh, first we'll just go to uh, just a website of Ping Identity and let me just show you. So this is a website, right? Pingidentity.com slash cn slash account sign on dot html. You just need to go there and uh, you need to create your account, right? Like for example, if you are not have the account, you can just go and create your account. It will just ask the basic details. And then once your account is ready, then you just need to log in and then I'll show you how you can request for the developer license file. Okay. So let me put my ID. I have my account already exist with my Gmail. This is my old Gmail account. I have another one also. So let me put it. So let me just connect to this once I'll in I'll show you yeah where we can go and request for that file what happened uh, invalid username or password mm, I put the email ID correct only let me see if I'm putting my password correct or not Okay, maybe I put the incorrect password first time. Okay, so let's connect to this portal quickly and then I'll show you. Okay, so this is the portal. This this is the UI it will looks. It, uh, it will have few options. You can see here like uh, you have some account representative. You have, if you have any certification on it, you can show here. You have the community batches you have you can go to community and just see what is happening there you can contribute also to the community right uh, with, with your uh, with some uh, answers if you know of some problems because people ask questions right in the community so like that and uh, here is your about your training i find you okay if you want like look for any training you can go for this this is a community activity right maybe i asked few questions earlier so that's why it's showing here okay so okay now in the right hand side you can see you go to community manage license keys check system status view profile and all this information right so we can go for the manage license keys okay so once we go there you can see ping identity will give you an option for the free license uh, for 30 days okay so you can see here it's uh, talking about the you do not have any license key available but you can request for create free license key so just click there and then it will ask for the product okay which product you are looking for whether it's ping federate ping access ping directory ping authorized ping intelligence so right now we are looking for the ping federate right now just accept this license and agreement okay submit it yeah once you submit you can quickly get a license file you can see here right like uh, you are able to see the start date of license is 1st of July 2024 and end date is 31st July. That means it's valid for one month. That's a type of, it's a type free, right? The name is Ping Federate 12.1 development. So the, whatever the version they have now, uh, currently in the, in the, whatever the, the latest version they have, it will just uh, give you the license for that version only. Okay. So Ping for 12.1, it can run for the 12 also. Okay. It's not like sub version can run, right? Uh, using same license file. And you have the option to upgrade also, right? So let me see, just click on view. So you, you are able to see, right? Ping Fitter 12.1 development license key, name, type, start date, organization, and all this information, right? So it has SAS, AWS, Trust, OAuth, everything, right? So upgrade, request, new key, you have the option. So we are not going to do this right now. So yeah. So this is the way. So just download, uh, download this license file, and then uh, we can quickly jump to PF09. 
that means we are just going to uh, we'll go to the google cloud platform and we'll just try to create a virtual machine as i told right we have, we have create two we are going to create two virtual machine one for the for our admin and uh, pingfed admin node and one for the pingfed at engine node okay so and then uh, pf10 and 11 is about installation and configuration so you can see there where we are going to use this license file right and how we are going to use so till the time yeah just uh, yeah, follow the video for for uh, uh, just uh, yeah like uh, uh, follow the channel okay for for the next videos Thank you.